It's interior auto mechanic again here. Uh, today we're going to be working on a 2003 Acura CL uh, with navigation. This should be the same for uh, TLs as well from 1999 to 2003. Um, there may be a few small differences, but for the most part these should be exactly the same. Uh, basically what I'm wanting to show you is how to remove this uh, navigation unit without having to pull the radio and the rest of the center bezel. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the neck if you do it that way. Um, so anyway, let's jump right in. You're going to have two Phillips screws that hold in your Speedo bezel, this piece here that I've got on my lap, uh, that's going to hold it in up here. You're going to have a uh, screw right up in here, and then also another Phillips screw right over here. Uh, it does help if you drop your steering wheel down to its lowest level and lock it in. Uh, once you do that, um, remove those screws, um, basically around the bezel there's going to be clips and the clips are pretty easy to get to uh, you need to take your little uh, tool that looks like this you can get them on Amazon you can see it in my Lexus video uh, I tell you where to get those and everything um, basically you're gonna start down here and just pop up and all it is that holds the rest of this bezel in is clips and four plugs and it's really straightforward so there's a uh, clip here one here one there I know it's kind of hard to see because the sun, I'm sorry. Uh, there's one down here, two right here by the Speedo, and then one right here, one over there. And then after those are all just kind of popped loose, if you just do these three right over here underneath the Navi, you'll be fine. And then do these two over here. Uh, those are pretty important as well. You want to make sure it's pretty good and loose, and then you can wiggle your fingers in between the bezel and the speedometer and kind of work it out. And then you'll have four plugs, uh, two of these over here. One will be for the hazard switch, and then the other one is for the set, or I'm sorry, the select and reset um, for your trip. And then there may be three over here for you, but these are there's two on mine for cruise and sunroof. You may have a, have a TCS one as well. Um, after that, um, there are four screws that hold this unit in. And the whole reason I needed to take this out was the battery died on this car, and it needed a pin number. And the pin number I could not find in the dash, like in the glove box or anything like that, or on the side of the glove box. And when I called Acura, they said to get the serial number, so I got it off the back, but just as a heads up, desperately look for your pin number that could possibly be in your owner's manual because Acura did not have the code, the correct code for me, surprisingly, off the serial number. Um, so strongly suggest looking for the, the pin that would be in your owner's manual. Um, so you've got two Phillips up here. They're really easy, straightforward to get to. And then if you look down here, let me see if I can turn my flash on. There's one there. See that silver bracket? That one goes in. And then there's one over on this side too, right there. Now they're kind of a pain in the neck to get the two bottom ones out. I lost those two originally when I pulled them. I didn't really care um, because obviously I found two other screws that fit back in there perfectly fine. Um, once you get those out, you can pretty much pull this unit out, and there's two plugs on the back side. Uh, one has a black tab that you must remove first before you can release the tab, or release the plug. Um, after that, the serial number will be on the back for your unit, and you can call Acura with that. I hope this helps. Uh, putting them back in, like I said, is a little bit of a pain, but it beats having to pull your entire center console out. Uh, anyway, if this helped, please like, share, and subscribe down below. And let me know in the comments what you'd like me to do next. Have a great day, guys.